Hey everyone, Tony Winston here at Jazz Piano College. I had a request to um, talk about when to use extensions on your chord, and we could sometimes call them color tones or extensions, uh, tensions, and we're talking about ninths, elevenths, and thirteenths. So I'm going to use three songs to uh, demonstrate this, and I'm going to use blue bossa first. And so we have a C minor, and I'm going to use a rootless voicing like this. And the first thing you have to consider in deciding what tensions to use is what tensions are available. So on a minor seventh chord, we only have three, the nine, the 11, and the 13. The flat nine is not available because it just sounds terrible. The sharp nine is actually the third of the chord, so we can't say that's available. And you know, the other ones like the flat 13, or the uh, sharp 11 are also bad sounding. So we have the 9, the 11, and the 13. Let's see what we can add. Well, I'm adding the 9. That sounds pretty good. The 11, that's this note right here. Sounds pretty good. One tension you have to be careful about on a minor 7th chord is the 13. Because if you play, say, a minor 7th chord with a 13 like this, and it, the minor 7th chord usually goes to its relative 5. It doesn't in this song, but it usually goes like to an F7. And you see, these two notes are in the, both in the same chord. So it doesn't sound like you're really going anywhere. So most of the time you want to avoid using the 13, but sometimes it's really nice. And at facts on this song, it sounds pretty good because we're not going to an F7, we're going to an F minor 7th, so. so that will change to an A flat and that makes it sound better. Okay, now F minor 7th, we have the 9th is available, but it's very close to the melody, so it's probably best to avoid it. So it sounds pretty nice if you're careful how to play it. But when it's real close to the melody, generally you want to avoid it. Now the 11th is down here. I mean, it could be there, but you can also play it here. So I could play it like that perhaps. And once again, the 13, it's okay. Um, but, you know, where's that going? B flat seventh, which is kind of like the chord we're going to. So once again, the 13th is probably not the best choice on a minor seventh chord. All right, now we get to the minor seventh flat five. And the available tensions, the most common one is the ninth and then also the 11th. So let's try those out. So we've got this. And if I play the nine, you see, it's real close to the melody. So it's going to clash a little bit, so probably not a great choice, but the 11 would be okay. Dominant chords have the most possibilities for tensions because all the tensions are available. A flat 9, a 9, a sharp 9, this is the 3rd, the 11th, the sharp 11th, this is the 5th. The flat 13, and by the way, the sharp 11 and the flat 13 are often called the flat 5 and the sharp 5. It's kind of easier to think of it that way. Then we also have the 13 is available, and that's it. So on this chord, we already have the sharp 9 in the melody. So it's an altered tension. I use these terms interchangeably, tension or extension. So we could also use another altered tension, like the flat 13. It's possible also maybe to use the sharp 11 or the flat 9, but you know, they're kind of, I don't know. I would go this way. Here's our minor seventh chord again possibly get away with the 13 there, but a better choice is going to be the 11th right here. And I've got two fifths, so I can get rid of one of them. 
And I have the so what chord. Huh, nice. Right, minor seventh chord. Here's E flat minor seventh. It's going to an A flat dominant seventh. So I don't want to use the, th the 13 on a minor seventh chord. Because, you know, going to A flat seventh, it's, the, it's like the same thing. So you don't have much harmonic motion. So I'll use maybe the 11th. Let's see, I could put the third here. Or I could put the 11th down there. Third here, fifth here. Could possibly get the ninth in there too. All right, A flat's dominant seventh. You know, you could try every tension. They're all gonna work. There's the flat nine. There's the regular nine. Even the sharp nine could work. Probably not the best choice there, but it might be okay. Um, even the eleventh. You could suspend the chord with the eleventh. You could do a, a ninth, a ninth, a sharp eleventh, and a thirteenth. Gives you a triad right there, a whole step above. See? You could try using the tritone substitution. That's a D triad. Gives you a lot of nice tensions there also. And really, you could put so many in. Flat nine, sharp nine, sharp five. Is that right? Yeah. That's not the sharp five. This is the sharp five. <laughs> Even that chord would work. Flat nine, sharp nine, flat five, and sharp five as long as you leave the regular five out. All right, pretty too thick maybe, but. All right, D flat here, we have, we have what's called the avoid note right there on the melody. So let's go on to this one. I could add the nine. I could add the sharp 11 too. Remember, these are the three available tensions. It's a little close to the melody though, so I probably don't want to use that one. I could, you know, gives it a nice sound. The 13 is down here. Very rich chord, kind of nice. D minor 7 flat 5 again. Here's the, here's the uh, 9, and that sounds pretty good. Flat 9 is, is available, but it's a tough one to figure out how to use it. And so most of the time you don't. And the 11 works okay in there too. Got it in the melody. Here's the G7 with a flat nine. We could add a 13 or a flat 13. Either one sounds good. And then with a nice uh, so what chord there with the 11th. Now the next two chords are just um, for accompaniment. So you know, there's the ninth and the th 11th. And you know, the, also the uh, 13 and the flat 13 are available too, so you could do something like that maybe. Okay, I said I'd do two other songs, but before I do that, I think it's a good idea for me to uh, demonstrate when you don't want to use extensions. I've had choices. Since the day that I was born, there were voices that told me right from wrong. All right. So anytime you're doing like a folk song, a country song, you know, lots of songs by the Beatles or the Stones or classic rocks. You know, right? Don't add anything to those chords. Don't even add major sevenths or anything. No extensions. Occasionally, you know, adding the ninth. But since there's no seventh, we can call it a, just a second. You, know, you can add stuff like that. Okay, uh, the other two songs are All of Me and Bluesette. So let's do All of Me first. Uh, uh, C major seventh. You know, right away, the major seventh clashes with the melody. So you could change it to a sixth and then add a nine. Uh, you can add a sharp 11. And, you know, that's the 
13, but it's already in the chord, so it's really just another sixth. Kind of clashes with the melody that's going to come down there, so let's just add the nine. Sounds pretty good. E7, the most common um, extension to put on a chord is the ninth or the flat nine, and especially the flat nine. You know, where does jazz come from harmonically? It comes from the flat nine and the flat five. Flat nine, you know. So those two... Uh, those two notes are really important in these old jazz standards on dominant seventh chords. The flat five and the flat nine. All right, here we go. Back to all of me. Big fat chord there. There's the flat nine right there. A. Got the root on top, so you know I could try an E flat triad with tritone substitution used as extensions or I could put the regular nine in right there sounds pretty good you know you could try you want to try everything you know maybe the 13 would sound good ah, that 13 sounds nice maybe even the flat nine I don't know I like the regular nine better here now we already have the 11th on the minor chord. Let's add the 9th. E7. Put the flat 9 down here. Or a regular 9. You know, the sharp 9 is probably too low because you got to put the 3rd down here then. Yeah, so that's not going to work. That's the 11th on a minor chord. We can add the 9. Seven. We've got the 13 here already, so let's add the 9. Could add a flat 9. Even a sharp 9 might be pretty cool if you're going for some dissonance. There's our so what chord again. We've got the 11th down here. and All right, we've got a dominant chord here. There's the 7th. We can put a 13 in there. Or a flat 13. Uh, and, uh, you know, follow the golden rule of music. If it sounds good, it's good. If it sounds bad, it's bad. <laughs> Unless you want a bad sound. All right, anyway, thank you so much. I'm sorry I haven't done too many videos lately. I've had a day job here for a few weeks, and I've got a few more weeks to go on it. But uh, today's Saturday, so I'm trying to play catch up. I should have a lot more coming out here in the next couple of weeks. So, uh, Thanks for all your support on Patreon and through PayPal and on YouTube, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.